Super Truck guys. We got the grave digger. Check out the zombie. That's pretty cool. Then you got Mad D, Mad D, Max D. I'm sorry, Mad D. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Gotta find the rest of the people. This one's for my grandson. I got him this truck for Christmas. Check it out, Ari. Look at that. Look at these tires. Yeah, look at Jimmy next to the tires. The tires are as big as Jimmy. There it is, Ari. It's been amazing getting the chance to drive great right here in arenas and stadiums all over the world. Make sure you get inside the driver's seat and check out the view from this 1,500 horsepower machine. And I hope to see you at the next Monster Jam event. 1,500 horsepower, guys. Look at that engine. This thing can do some stuff, boy. Grave digger. There it is. There we go. Bad to the bone. The birth of it. How he started. Cool. Later, guys. Okay, guys. I'm trying to figure out what the name of this big thing is. It used to be the um, Millennium, I think. Uh, let's see what it's called. Oh, this is a train. Okay, that's why. Well, I'll go around in the front of it and we'll get a picture of it. So, I wanted to show you guys, this is the train right now. This is the train that leaves. Goes back to our side of town. So these are little buildings and the Emporium. Is that a real seagull? It did make a nest up there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look at that seagull up there. What's in there? Oh. Okay, we got a gift shop. Looks like it's all. I want to go in that general store and see if um, they got some little hats of Ari. Oh, you guys sit? Is that, um, all right, I'm gonna, you can sit here, I'm gonna go have a cigarette. Go up where? Hey guys, how we doing? Sitting here chilling. Them guys just one guy and this Maverick. That. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I mean, I just got that neat and so I'm chilling. But them guys decided they want to go get on it. Um, they're trying to use, I mean, to get their use out of their uh, passes that they got. I mean, they're 65 bucks, so you might as well spend it and get as much use that you can out of them. But we just got something to snack, and my son just won my wife a uh, horse playing basketball. He got three shots in, so we got a little horse. <laughs> so I decided to sit here and wait for them guys to get done and chilling out, enjoying the flowers, the atmosphere, and yeah. So I'm doing a screeching halt. And this is where they wait to go back up, and as you can see up there, they're loading in to get in. And then you go around again and back out. So yeah, it's called the Maverick. It's a pretty cool one. A lot of corkscrews, a lot of spins. I'm trying to get some more footage here. I got to go through the museum. I want to go through a couple of little things on here. We're debating on going on a train. There's a train. There's a big one up there. That's the um, 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 um the metal. Uh, darn it. Let me look it up here real quick for you guys. But yeah, this guy got a tree. There they go, straight down. I'm gonna get on the other side of that one so I can see it. Then they should come up over there. Yep. And there they go again. Yeah. That's called the metal something here. Let me see. Let me find it. Uh, get you guys out here so you can see me. Get my little map out. 
they changed so much since I was here so long ago. Oh, that's Steel Vengeance, it's called. The big one back behind me that I just showed you guys is Steel Vengeance. And yeah, that's a big one. That's like your biggest one here. It used to be called the Millennium, or... Yeah, I think that was the Millennium. And what they did is retract it with metal track over the old wooden track. Or no, that was a Gemini, I think. I think that was a Gemini, the one that was the biggest roller coaster we had. Here comes the train. The trains are coming. Getting ready to dock. So yeah, just sitting here eating some candy. Having a cigarette. They got like designated little cigarette areas where you can sit and smoke and don't walk around. I just gotta take a break when I can. When little people watching, that's always fun. I mean, it's just crazy to see all the people from all over. People come from everywhere to come here. I mean, it's amazing how many people come from so many states and how many places to come here. Um, if you can see over there, those big, that big green thing sticking out, that's a slingshot. I'm gonna try to catch it on the way out and see if we can catch the slingshot and watch somebody going up in the air. Uh, I'm trying to get some full footage here, but we keep going and stopping and stopping and going. So, like I said, I'm going to go walk around here in a few minutes. We got stuck here and decided to eat and do all that stuff. So, since we're doing all that, I'm going to go here in a minute and go do some walking around. We'll get some good footage and get some good shots of some of the roller coasters and stuff like that. So, give me a minute and we'll be right back. Later. Okay, guys. It's a museum. Let me zoom out. Get you guys a full thing of this. This is that Steel Vengeance that they redid over the top of the other one. It's a miniature scale 140th. I mean, that's the actual ride all the way through. In Detroit, Michigan. You guys read that? I don't know if you guys can get it. It's pretty small print. I don't know, my camera looks like it's a little out of focus. I hope that didn't mess up my screen or my lens. But here's some old stuff. Soap. Castle soap. Old pot belly stove. This must have been like a barber, yep, barber shop right up there. I just seen it. I'm like that looks like an old barber shop. Look at all the tools, all the old shavers and razors and the little shaving cream cups. Oh, shaving mugs and the razors and the old chairs. Look at the old posted chairs. A big boat. Coin operated display only. 1937 World Series. Yeah, I'm getting some really bad glare out of that, guys. God. Let me wipe the screen. Oh, I hope I didn't mess up my camera. Sorry, guys, for the. I did not expect to drop this. So I'm going to run the footage and I'll edit it and find out what's what. It might be just because reflect out the glass too. Here's a little parlor of some kind. Plumbing pieces and nothing interesting there. And we got some little figurines. Some kind of soccer. Something. I don't know what this is. Let's go up and see. Wow, look at the clock. Look at that. I wonder if it works. Sandusky clock, Frank Steino. Over 40 automatic figures. 19 or 1897. How about that? All hand card figures. Cock weighs 2,000 pounds, 12 feet high, 9 feet wide. Holy crap, yeah, it don't work now, but ain't that amazing. A 
can see is our old piano. That looks like a um, Victrola. It is. Wow. Look, it's a fire engine. Oop. Sorry, guys. Look at that. Wow. That's old. Steam engine, 496. And this is all the building of Cedar Point. The beginnings, the plans, the designs for it. Look at that. Wow. Look at the people swimming out like here. All swimsuits. There's how they designed it all. Look at the first ones. These are all the first roller coaster and ride. This is back when I first came here as a kid. Some of these. Look at that wooden carving. Actual Frontierland used to be like Frontierland where you went through and watch them make butter and wool and all that. I don't see any of that now. I think they got a lot of that out of here. Names of celebrities, I think. Um, name brands? Bands? Oh, name bands. I thought it said name brands. These must have been all people who played here. At the Coliseum, yeah. Steamboats. Some old China. And you kitty cat lovers. Horseshoe. Oh, I didn't even see these. There's a bronze Indian. But look at this. The water landing. Got the whole thing on miniature. Yeah. Pretty cool. Let's see what this one is. A mean streak. That used to be here. That's no longer here. It was all wood. It was. It was amazing. I rode on that one many times. And then I think that's the blue streak. Looks like. Yep, the blue streak. That used to be, that was like the one that would beat you to death. It was so, it was such an old roller coaster and it just had the little cart. Um, cars. As you see the cars, that's what they look like. And they were little tiny cars that just shook you to death on that thing. But yeah, look at this, this is an old store, the general store stuff. This is, must have been a pharmacy stuff, yeah. All the stuff from the pharmacy. Flat braid, the old heating bottle. EJBL Drug Store, Cleveland, Ohio. A pharmaceutical book. Wow, look at the little steam. Got a phoenix. Some red glass. Look at that. Gold and red. Cool. Look at these. Tractor. These are models. <laughs> Compare the models now, huh? Antique stationary steam engine. Sorry guys, we're getting a lot of glare. These all are in glass cabinets and the lighting in here is really bad. I'm trying to get as clear as I can for you guys. There's no detail, I'm sorry. But look at the scalpels. 
Let me see if I can get you guys a little better view of them. Yeah, them are scalpels. That's a surgery set. There's medicine bottles. Yeah, I don't think I'd be wanting to be having surgery done back then. That's a heart catheter. Um, can sell a scope uh, something. Look at the blood pressure thing. Yeah. Shock machine. Magnetic shock machine. 1854. Doctor's house call bag. A bunch of pills. Oops, let me zoom me out. They're reflecting off that. Yeah. Oh yeah, those are all pills, and they're actually still in there. It's an old doctor's medical house call bag. Sorry, I can't get any reflection. I can't get any clearness. Oh, look at the surgery amputation set. There's the saw that they cut your leg or your arm off with, and and all the surgical tools. Yeah, pretty cool. More razors. And, and then the pharmacy bottles. This is like the pharmacy part. This is amazing. The original drugstore. You still have four in your party today? So. I know, you could do this, you could go to guest service and let them know that. Cool. Let's go see what them guys are doing. Thank you guys. You can give her a compliment for a few This is the first office. It's like the trash out, like at the end of the night. George Roos. Look at the safe. Cedar Point Resort, that was a safe from back then. Wow. Yeah. All right, let's go and find them, guys. We'll see what they're doing later. We're up here. They're getting ready to go up called the gatekeeper. I can't get out in it because the rain, it just starts pouring down rain as you see. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to stand back here and get what I can for you guys. I got this thing here too. Yeah, it's crazy. So let's see what we can do with this. I can't get over there to, there's, everything is like surrounded by it, but it's all open. There's no way to actually Well guys, I know it could have been a lot better video, but between the weather and everybody wanting to do everything different, it's really hard. I almost need to come here on a day by myself and do what I can do. And do some video work myself. Uh, we were just gonna go get on the little trolley things that go back and forth. Here's the big Ferris wheel. I mean, it's a big Ferris wheel. They don't even fit in my, nobody's on that because of the rain. This one here is just getting ready to go up. Um, you can see there's one thing there, a big twist. They back up on that one, then they come down here, and then they go around here, and all the way up there. I don't know what this one's called. I'm gonna try to get the name of it here. But I thought, since I was standing here waiting for them guys, here they go. Up, and go back. Then you go up, backwards, and then you come back down, and you go even higher, back or forward, right up to the top, and then back down, back right up, all the way to the top, backwards, 
and then all the way back down again. Yeah. What do you guys think? That's a crazy ride. Let me see if I can get the name of it. Um, Wicked. Uh, I can't read it from here. The yeah, sign is crooked sideways, so I can't see it. There's the lake out there. I mean, you can't see nothing on the lake. The lake's on the other side of that fence, and that's all lake out there, but the stupid mist and stuff coming, you can't see anything out there. I was gonna get up and take a picture of the lake. It's humongous. I mean, that's all lake all the way down there. All the way down that way, it's just straight lake. What do you mean when you get up to it, you can't see nothing in the mist, it's just so fine. It just, you can't see anything out there. It's like a London day. It turned into London fog, London mist. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. It's just about to close here. So I got a lot of footage to go through. I'm gonna do my best at putting together a decent video for you guys. I hope I got some of the good rides, some good effects for you guys. So, Searching Soul says, peace, later.